Hello people, so I wanted to break down these Dune reviews because I'm seeing a lot of videos right now that are kind of irritating me because there's a lot of people trying to rush out like, oh, this is the consensus of what's going on right now. But let's just keep in mind, there's only 34 reviews. So I that's really the point of this video. There's really, you can't consensus this already. And Rotten Tomatoes is already putting out a consensus, which is a good consensus, but I would have, still, I would have waited until it pre premiered in New York, um, a film festival. It says, Dune occasionally struggles with its unwil un unwieldy um, source material, but those who ha but those issues are largely overshadowed by the scope and ambition of a visually thrilling ride. So, um, there are people complaining about that, but keep in mind that I, most of the people that are, well, the eight people that gave this a bad review, when you look at their past, they didn't either, most, most of them, I'm not saying all of them, most of them didn't either care for Blade Runner 2049 or Arrival. So people are, need to take that into consideration. One other thing people need to take into consideration, Blade Runner 2049 has an 88%. That's my third favorite movie ever. So this has no effect. My, my favorite movie of all time, Interstellar, has a 72%. So I, the score really does not affect my anticipation. When I, but like I said, the point of this video is to, if you're concerned about these reviews, it's a comfort video. If you are thinking this movie is a masterpiece, it's like, like, just give it a second video. Because there's really no way of saying it until I think it premieres in New York. Because there's a lot more people going to see it, a lot more critics. So um, I think we'll get a definite answer once it gets to New York Film Festival. And, and maybe, I th are they doing another screening in Venice? I'm, I'm not sure. They might, they might be doing one more screening in Venice. So we might not, you might know by the end of Venice Film Festival if they do more screenings of it. But um, yeah, it's just... Plus, another thing I wanted to point out is that once you go onto the um, average score, it's an 8.2 out of 10. And to put perspective, that's a fantastic um, average score because um, when you look back on... Um, I checked this already, but I went on to Shang-Chi, which is a highly regarded film. Everyone's calling it one of the best Marvel movies. The average score there is a 7.5 out of 10. So they're already calling this, most critics are giving it a better score than what they're giving Shang-Chi to as of now out of these 33 critics. So I, I just want to keep that into perspective. And like I said, will that score lower? Will critics at the end of the day kind of give it a, a lower score than a 7.5? Who knows? And because 34 reviews, that's not a lot. Yes, 34 um, but, and there are some credible sources in there, like Hollywood Port Reporter gave it a bad review, but also Guardian gave it a good review. So, a lot of people that are having problems with it seem to be having problems that it just stops in the middle of the story. And I see why people are kind of concerned about that, because the sequel was not confirmed. Vill Villeneuve is currently writing it, and I know Zimmer is already doing the score, trying to do um, some extra work for the score. So... When it comes to that aspect, it's like they haven't announced it, but you know, with this pandemic time that we're in, we really don't know. So I could see a lot of critics coming out of this if they haven't, if they don't announce a sequel. I could see a lot of people saying, oh, got it. <sighs> are we going <laughs> to, because I, I understand what their concerns are coming from, because let's say I see it and then a sequel isn't confirmed and it really isn't as much, not necessarily a cliffhanger, but as left open as it is. I, I'll be kind of um, not conflicted, but I'll just kind of be patiently waiting for a sequel announcement because if they cancel a sequel to this, I'm going to just be like, okay, that was all for nothing. So I understand where these people are, are concerned, but I don't think it's a right to give it a bad review over the fact that you're unsure about a sequel, but I'm sure they have other problems with the movie and it's not just beyond that, but I think that's a heavy factor into what people are concerned about right now. But um, overall, um, I think the people that are giving this um, bad reviews, if I just had to kind of give insight into it, I feel like once a second movie is out and the thing is complete, a lot of those opinions might change. So this is just overall what I am kind of thinking in my head right now. So yeah, this is like, and don't just take what, what I say with a grain of salt. What I'm saying is there really can't be a consensus right now with 34 reviews. So yeah, anyways, um, I'm thinking this 85% higher score than um, 
Shang-Chi for average score on Rotten Tomatoes is a good sign, but I'm not, like I said, take it with a grain of salt. And that's what I want you to, everyone to do right now. People are taking these Venice Film Festival reactions a little too seriously, I think. So like I said, take everything with a grain of salt. That's all I want to say. So like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that, and adios.